Hey guys, it is Julie here with Tip Ranks, and today we're taking a look at three energy stocks that have received all buy ratings from Wall Street analysts. So let's get into it. All right, guys, welcome back. Thank you all so much for being here. Today, we're taking a look at the energy sector. We use the Tip Rank Stock Screener to find three companies that have unanimous buy ratings from Wall Street analysts. As a bonus, they all pay a dividend as well. So today, we're gonna take a quick look at these companies, what it is that they do, and how those analysts are weighing in on the stock's future. If you're wanting to unlock access to some of the best research tools out there, make sure you check out TipRanks Premium. Right now you can get one year free when you sign up for a three year plan. Follow the link down below to take advantage of this deal. Now let's get right into these energy stocks. First on our list, we're taking a look at Chenier Energy under the ticker LNG. Their stock is priced at $148 per share. They have seen growth of 18% over the past year, but have been fairly sideways the last six months, down just a couple of percent. Their stock scores an 8 out of 10 on the tip ranks smart score as well. Their stock ticker may have given this away, but the company is engaged in LNG or liquid natural gas. Chenier is a full-service global provider of clean, secure, and affordable liquid natural gas. They began operations in 2016 and are already the largest producer of LNG in the United States and the second largest LNG operator in the world. Their liquid natural gas has reached dozens of markets on five continents, and the demand for their fuel is expected to grow as countries around the world seek cleaner ways to power their economies. They recently signed a 15-year LNG supply deal with a company called Equinor. Equinor agreed to purchase 1.75 million metric tons per year of liquid natural gas on a free onboard basis for a purchase price index to the Henry Hub price over a 15-year term. Back in May, the company reported their Q1 earnings results, where they came in ahead of analysts' expectations, plus raised their full-year guidance. They also set a new quarterly record for LNG production. Their Q1 net income swung to a profit of $5.43 billion, or $22.10 per share, from a previous loss of $3.41 per share in the year earlier. This was primarily due to changes in fair value of the company's derivative portfolio. Revenue of $7.3 billion beat expectations by $1.77 billion, and they currently pay a quarterly dividend of $0.40 cents per share which works out to a current dividend yield of 1.01% and a very low payout ratio as this is a fairly new dividend for the company. The Chenier Energy stock currently has nine analyst ratings and as I said at the beginning, they all come in with a buy. Those nine analyst ratings come in with an average price target of $198, which would be an upside potential of 33% from current prices. Down below, we can see a lot of four and five star analysts weighing in on the stock, which is great to see, and all with double digit upsides, ranging from 16% all the way up to 56. The most recent rating came in just yesterday with an upside of 25%, and they did slightly lower their price target while maintaining that buy. The analyst noted that we view LNG as a relative bargain at its current valuation, and we remain bullish on prospects, especially following recent investment grade upgrades. Second on our list today, we're taking a look at Halliburton. Trading under the ticker HAL, their stock currently priced at $31 per share. Now at the end of 2023, they were seeing some sizable gains, but have been falling ever since. The stock was down 1.5% overall this past year and down 16% in the last six months, though it has been climbing back slightly in the last few. Halliburton is one of the world's leading providers of products and services to the energy industry. Founded back in 1919, their experts work to collaborate and engineer solutions to help customers maximize value throughout the life cycle of their reservoirs. They combine technology, services, and execution expertise to assist their customers with hypocarbons location, geological data management, drilling and formation evaluation, well construction and completion, and product optimization throughout the life of their asset. Their next earnings report will be coming out on July 17th. Their previous one came out near the end of April, where they came out with a solid earnings beat and their CEO said that the company's outlook is strong. They reported Q1 earnings per share of $0.72, cents, which was up from $0.29 cents in the year-ago period, and revenues rose by a third to $5.68 billion. By segment, their completion and production revenue jumped 45%. 
Their CEO said that Halliburton's performance in the first quarter again demonstrated the earnings power of our strategy, the strength of our competitive position globally, and execution for our customers. My Halliburton outlook for both the current year and long term is strong. They currently pay a quarterly dividend of $0.16 cents per share, giving us a current dividend yield of 1.65% and a payout ratio just shy of 22%. Their stock has attracted buy ratings from 12 different Wall Street analysts. Of course, coming in as a strong buy, the average price target comes in at above $45 per share. That would be an upside potential of 47% from current prices. Taking a look down below, we do have a few ratings all within the last few weeks, including a couple from some five-star rated analysts. All of our price targets here have upside potentials of at least 30%, going all the way up to over 53%. And third on our list today, we have Northern Oil & Gas. Their stock trades under the ticker NOG, currently priced at $32.47 per share. Their stock has seen growth of 24% over the past year and is up 10% in the past six months. Northern Oil & Gas is the largest publicly traded, non-operated exploration and production company. In operation for 32 years, their business strategy is to capture and participate in only the highest return opportunities across premier U.S. oil and gas basins. They believe the best way to generate long-term value is their continued capital allocation process. They acquire non-operated positions in high-quality acreage that's about to be drilled. They partner with leading E&P operators with a successful track record, maintaining financial flexibility, liquidity, and discipline, and work to increase their visible growth potential over the long term. They recently announced a joint acquisition of Northern Delaware Basin Permian Assets which will be the largest transaction in company history to be highly accretive to key financial metrics. They purchased a 33% undivided stake in the Novo assets for $500 million in cash. Their Q1 earnings report came out near the start of May where they beat both earnings and revenue expectations. Q1 earnings per share came in at $1.76, beating expectations by $0.17 cents per share, and they reported revenue of $582.2 million. They also saw a record quarterly production of over 87,000 barrels of oil equivalent per day, which was an increase of 23% from the year-ago period. They also announced a 9% increase to their dividend, bringing it to $0.37 cents per share on a quarterly basis for a dividend yield of 3.23% and a healthy payout ratio of 16%. Their stock has attracted six buy ratings from Wall Street analysts. The average price target comes in at $46 per share, which would be an upside of 42% from current prices. Taking a look down below, our most recent rating came in just two days ago from a five-star analyst at Truist Financial. He gives the stock an upside of 83%, which is definitely the highest looking at our list here. He said that he believes that the Novo deal could potentially generate among the highest future returns of any deal that Northern Oil has done to date. So there we have three energy stocks all coming in with nothing but buy ratings from Wall Street and some pretty bullish outlooks. Let me know your thoughts on these stocks in the comments down below, plus some of your other favorite energy picks. I always appreciate hearing from you guys. Please keep in mind these videos are never a suggestion to buy or sell any specific stock, just keeping you up to date with what those Wall Street analysts are looking at and providing some information and entertainment. Please make sure you always do your own research and due diligence before making any investment decision. If you made it to the end of today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and that you're subscribed to the channel as well. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you back here next time.